Okay, this is just a brief overview of Blackboard, and because Blackboard is such a significant portion of our class, since it's an online class, then, you know, I just want to kind of show you some of the tools that you're going to be using throughout the semester. Uh, hopefully you're familiar with Blackboard. If you're not, that's okay too. Um, one of the ways that you can log into Blackboard is to go to the ACC homepage and you just go to austincc.edu and if you look up here at the top um, and you see Blackboard you can just click on that link right there um, and then now I'm already logged in so it shows me everything that I've got going on but it will give you a login where you put your ID and your password in there. If you're not sure about your login, you can contact um, the central help desk for Blackboard through ACC online services, through student online services, that is through the um, ACC webpage also. Now <laughs> you'll see um, the courses that you have that you're currently taking now I have a bunch of stuff listed here because I'm an instructor, uh, but I'm going to click on ARCH 1311. You should see this showing up and it should be listed as 216S. That means spring 2016. If you don't see this and the number, the course number should be 9 or 49439 and that's our section. There's only one section of Intro to Architecture this semester, so you should see 216S, 49439, ARCH 1311, 001, that means it's section 1. If you don't see that or you see something different, let me know. And that is possible. Sometimes Blackboard gets a little bit messed up and it's possible that it can be confused with another student or something's wrong with your login. So just go ahead and select that. And what you will see is the home page and it should take you to the announcements page whenever you log in to our class in Blackboard and you should see this kind of uh, skyline of New York City ARCH 1311 introduction to architecture if you don't see this or you see something completely different please let me know or double check and make sure that this is the section that you're in so you should again see the introduction to architecture listed as the course name and it should say 49439 right there again kind of reiterating the section so the announcements uh, link on the left that's at the top and that's because you enter uh, the course every time you log in at the announcements page so if there are any new announcements posted then you should see those on on this page now the front page lists the announcements but I will always email the announcements that I send out so don't feel like you've got to keep checking the announcements page to see if there are new announcements you should be getting those via email um, the first one that I sent out the other day is kind of the welcome uh, email if you didn't get that please let me know because me that may be an indication that there's a problem with um, the way you're receiving announcements in Blackboard or the way that we are able to communicate with each other in Blackboard. It's kind of a test email that I send out not just to give you information for the course orientation which you know that's helpful but also it's a way for me to see if you're receiving the announcements and a way for you to see if you're receiving all the emails from me through Blackboard. Um, so that's really important. Announcements will be posted there um, <clears throat> announcements will always be emailed through Blackboard. Now whenever I send an email through Blackboard it's going to go straight to your ACC email account. So that's why it's important to always be checking uh, your ACC email account is because that's what's directly um, accessed or linked to Blackboard. Now the ACC email addresses are Google accounts so you can add those to your phone just like you would any other Google account so if you're trying to add it and you're not sure how to do it you can add it just like you would a Gmail account 
um, but instead it's a g.austincc.edu if it's a student um, ACC email address. Um, now the main links that you're going to be using are at the top, so I kind of put the top two, um, those are the most frequently used ones that you're going to use. So announcements, that's what you hit every time you log in, and then uh, weekly lecture units, um, that's what you're going to be using most often. This is where all of the course content is going to be placed, and it's not showing up now because um, the course hasn't technically started, and so when you <laughs> log in, like the first one that will pop up here will be this coming Friday, January 22nd at 11 a.m. You'll see course number two or class number two pop up. Um, now class number one is technically the course orientation that is showing up uh, on Tuesday or today if you're logging in on Tuesday the 19th. And that is going to be in this folder right here. Again, it's not 11 o'clock on Tuesday the 19th yet, so um, it won't have popped up, but you're going to see this pop up right here. And every time you log in, you'll see a lecture unit, and it will have steps for you to follow. And it'll say like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's really pretty straightforward. All you need to do is go through all of the steps. Now make sure that when you log in, you go through all the steps. So for example, the course orientation, it'll show up on Tuesday at 11 a.m., but you have until Friday at 11 a.m. to review all the steps of that lecture. Now you want to make sure you do all of the steps of that lecture by Friday because one of the last steps is going to be to take the quiz that covers that information. And so that's how you kind of process the information and how you receive points for reviewing that lecture. And then starting on Friday the 22nd with uh, lecture two, it's gonna pop up here in weekly lecture units. You'll do the same thing. The information will pop up on Friday 11, but you'll have until the following Tuesday to go through all of that information and then take the quiz that covers that information before next Tuesday. Now, you don't have to do all of the lecture information in one sitting. So you can log in and log out from Blackboard as much as you want. So you could, like let's say a lecture unit for one uh, class period is posted and it has like seven different things. Maybe there's like a thing that you have to read and then maybe there's a video that you need to watch and maybe there's like a list of terms that you need to review. You can look at part of that and then log out of Blackboard and come back later on that night and pick up where you left off. So it's not like you have to look at it all in one sitting. I think that's that's a pretty common question that people have. Um, so this is the majority of where you're going to find all the information. Uh, the first thing that you're going to look at obviously is course orientation and by the time you hit this video you probably already found that. Um, the syllabus is posted right here. Again, that'll pop up on uh, the 19th at 11 a.m. The textbook link is live and that's posted so you can get that information um, and you can see kind of the covers of both of these books, um, the ISBN number. The ISBN number that's shown I believe is for the paperback. There's also an ebook version of both of those. Um, my contact information is here so you can always get a hold of me. It's got links to my office hours, um, email address, phone number, so you shouldn't have any trouble getting in touch with me. Um, all of the other stuff below that is kind of uh, class tools, um, your grades, and these are Blackboard tools that you can use, um, the discussion board in Blackboard. Um, this is if you want to uh, post an item, this will go live. Uh, on the 19th as well. Um, but any questions you have, feel free to email me about Blackboard. You can also post a question that you have that you think other might, others might have a question about on the discussion board and then I'll follow the thread and it will email me that somebody has posted something uh, to Blackboard on the discussion board.